Sand boas make great pets because they're smaller than most constrictors. They like to burrow. They're, they're fun to watch and they're easy to feed. He's a stubborn little boy. What he wants is what he gets. And he's really good with my little sister. She holds him a lot and cares for him a lot. OK, so can you tell me what's going on with him? Um, so his eye's been swollen lately. He's had some milky film in his eye. And then I checked on him today, and it's went down, and he's got a crack in his eye cap. Come here, little buddy. Let me see what we have here. What I'm going to do is stain the eye with fluorescein stain. Okay. And then we're going to look at it with the black light to make sure we don't have anything um, serious going on. Thank you. It looks good. It's a little dilated. Take the light on. Good news is that we did not have any um, stain uptake. Usually when you have any type of trauma or any type of cornea irritation or ulceration, the stain will, will turn bright yellow. The eye itself, it doesn't look bad. I do believe that, you know, we, we're, we're fine as far as any type of scratches. So he probably had an abscess. Um, good thing I think his body's f fought it off. In Rango's case, the abscess is due to remaining skin from the last shed. This could cause inflammation under the dead skin, discomfort, and loss of vision. I think the best thing to do with him is get like a warm paper towel and just put it over that eye. Okay. And I would do that maybe once a day for a duration of um, three days. Okay. And if it's still cloudy, cracking, we want it to kind of come off. Mm -hmm. um, for that, I think if we just increase the humidity a bit, he stated that he sh he usually shed every other month, mm -hmm. so he could be getting ready to come into come into a shed. Okay, I think we'll be fine. Always oh, good seeing you. So Put your snake. Ready, ladies. We're here at the Irving's residence to neuter a llama. Doctor Blue is a llama doctor. <laughs> Real deal. I'm just his assistant. You ready for this? I'm ready for this. Ready? Hey, hey, how's it going? I understand we got a llama that's uh, not in pajamas. <laughs> is that so? No, he is not in pajamas. He needs pajamas. So what's his name? His name is Atticus Finch. Atticus Finch? Yep. Why Atticus Finch? Well, it's one of my favorite books, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Ah. And one of my favorite characters. Okay. I thought it was a cool name. Okay. It's kind of fancy for a llama, though. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, to have a llama is sort of fancy. It's well. So it, it's fitting. Are you just into llamas? Was it? Well, so when we we moved here in 2006. Okay. The house came with three llamas. Wait, what? Yeah. So the previous owners had llamas. They were moving to Arizona. They didn't want to take them. And I never met a creature I didn't love. Okay. So at that time, we got into llamas. And so we've had llamas ever since. You moved into a house, and it came with llamas. Came with three llamas. I know that you can buy a house that it comes with drapes, uh, light fixtures, maybe even like appliances like a refrigerator. But actually get a living, breathing, eating being? A cool llama? That's, that's unheard of. We need a new realtor. <laughs> Atticus was born out here. Um, he's the first baby from my uh, two mom and dad out there, parents. Okay. Um, he's two and a half years old. Is there a reason why you want to get him neutered today? Uh, yes. So he, I have his parents out there. I saw him. He and his daddy are fighting for control of the very tiny llama herd I have right now. Um, I'm not going to breed him and his daddy to whatever I have out here. That'll be too confusing. So I'm ready to get his. Uh, Manhood taken away. Let's not call it manhood taken okay. away. Let's um, you, let's just say we're ready to remove the brains of the outfit. That's it. That's it. Remove the brains remove of the, the outfit. Remove the brains of the outfit. Yeah. And I he's... get kind of weird when you say take a manhood. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> yeah. So so that he can be calm again. They can be very aggressive. The males and yes. it, pretty much like any species, you got two dominant males. There's an yeah. issue in the room. Dogs. Bulls, yeah, and you know, especially father and son, llamas will particularly go after 
the, the, the testicles. Yes. Like, they'll they'll literally say, you got some, yes. I got some, I'm the man, I'm taking yours so you're not breeding right. with, you know, with their herds. So right. And they have common. fighting teeth, so yes. uh, they, they're pretty dangerous if they want to be. Llamas, they're, you know, they're, they're still large animals. These aren't little guys. It's not like a little dog or a cat. I mean, this, this llama here, Atticus is weighing about 250. And at their adult weight, they can be 400, 450, yeah. you know, on the, on the large side. So it's something where you still have to be careful of the sheer size of the animal. And they're camelids, so those back legs can kind of move in a full circle. You know, horses kick straight back, cows kick to the side, llamas hey, roundhouse. You remember Chung Lee? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, llamas is like Chung Lee. They ninjas. Ninja everywhere. And watch out, they spit. It's on there. Yeah. Today we're gonna be doing a IM injection. Okay. So there's a cocktail that we put together. We give it IM. Try to give it in this back muscle there. Okay. Back there in the back leg. IM stands for intramuscular. It's when we give an injection into the muscles versus having to do IV, which is intravenously in the vein. We do this in the llama because sometimes it's difficult to get into the vein in their neck. So hitting the muscle works quick and fast. We're gonna just kind of lay him on his right side. Okay. I'm gonna try to get his leg up a little bit. That way he's not moving ahead and okay. don't have to worry about him kicking, you know? Okay. All right. Just hold him steady. Ready? Uh-huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Kind of get woozy. We're going to just let him lay down. I feel like good right now, huh? Mm -hmm. Want to get the back legs. Get these cushions. All right, Heart rate already about like 60 early. Right. Llamas have a lot of fat that comes out uh -huh. of that scrotal area. Okay. That stuff gets in the way. I, I know. probably have to make a little uh, suture. Hey, Gabriella. <laughs> Is that his mom? That's a mama. The mama llama had some drama. We were castrating her son. She didn't like it. They have great maternal instincts, just like any other, you know, creature that has an offspring. And you can see her literally looking in there with the... I couldn't see. see. I, I was focused on anesthesia. I was, I was getting my... I was making sure the patient stayed alive. Good technician work. So, I love that. Wait, wait, what? I was an anesthesiologist, not a technician. All right, doctor, you're starting to wake up. OK. How much longer you got back there? I got one stitch. Rodeo, done. OK. All right, so we're done with the castration. OK. Everything looks good. Good. I don't really see any excessive bleeding. Now what we're going to do is um, just kind of wait for him to wake up. We gave him a reversal. OK. That actually allows for him to wake up and be a little bit more conscious. I like to okay. see him kind of a little bit more stable before I leave. Perfect. OK. okay. Let's see if we can cush, put him in the cush. Push him over here. Grab his neck. He got his neck. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Good morning. Good morning. Hold him, hold him, hold him. It's like, I'll help. You're a little lighter. <laughs> so, obviously, he's going to be feeling a little bit weird, a okay. little bit disoriented. So, obviously, keep him away from the other animals. Okay. I think he's going to do just fine. Okay. Hold on, there he goes. There you go. Well, I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you for the opportunity letting us come on out here. It's, it's a huge, huge help for us. Absolutely. If you so. got any more llamas, Dr. Ross would love to come out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of them. Good job. <laughs> <laughs>